It's time for sports, everybody. Tonight, this one goes out to Doris Adley down there in Fresh Creek. Andra, she's celebrating four score and three tomorrow. That's Independence. Way to go. Well, the team at the Pro Fitness and Health is excited to host its third annual Independence Fun Run Walk this coming Monday down in Igma Rock. The theme this year, Mind Over Matter. Let's go to Kimberly Mullings. Aerobics instructor Agnes Timothy says Pro Fitness and Health were happy with last year's turnout of 330 people, both young and old participants in the Independence Fun Run Walk in 8 Mile Rock. This year, they're aiming to have about 400 participants. She gave the route. It's going to start from the Jonestown basketball court in 8 Mile Rock opposite the 8 Mile Rock police station. And the route is going to take place from the corner, the old BTC corner, to up to St. Stephen's, going east up to St. Stephen's and heading west back to 8 Mile Rock basketball court. Timothy shared a few words of inspiration for those who might be interested in participating. There's nothing you cannot accomplish once you put your mind to it. There is nothing you cannot do once you get your mind in order to do it. Absolutely nothing. She's encouraging the general public to come out and have some fun, not miss out on the prizes and surprises, including a routine performance by the Pro Fitness and Health team. Come beat us at our game, come exercise with us, come run with us, come walk with us. The proceeds of the Pro Fitness and Health Fun Run Walk will go toward the precious pearls of West Grand Bahama. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Soul Sports. And that's going to be at 6 a.m. and I'm volunteering Lawanda Burroughs to go down there and see if she could do a squat. Okay, Special Olympics of Bahamas partnering with the YMCA to expand its program here in Grand Bahama. The program National Director Gilbert Williams says the organization is looking to expand and revitalize their program uh, coming out of the Beacon School with more assertive programs and focus on intellectual disabilities. Executive Director of the YMCA Karen Pender Johnson says the YMCA is pleased to get involved with such a program and they've also partnered with the Beacon School in the past. As we grow our program, certainly the facilities here at the YMCA, YMCA will come um, into play and will help us expand our programs, the swimming program, the basketball um, program, as well as the tennis program, certainly can benefit from the facilities here. What we are looking for is to provide an avenue where the Special Olympics participant can grow a bit more by interacting in the regular programs here at the YMCA in hopes of um, increasing their abilities where they can go out and do extremely well throughout the world. Now the program is going to start in September for persons ages 7 and up and the area coordinator Cheryl Hurst is appealing to for those guys to come out and coaches and volunteer. Sports coordinator Terry Wildgoose is saying simply the YMCA facilities for Special Olympics is important. As we prepare for World Games in 2019, we are looking for coaches to assist our athletes in becoming a better athlete. We are revamping the program, we are doing it a different way and we are starting younger. And where there is youth, there is growth and there is development. So we want to have a home base outside of the Beacon School that can facilitate all the sporting programs that we are going to do. And my good friend Ted Mackey and the boys are going to be helping you out there, Terry. Mama's Baseball Federation 14th uh, Andre Rogers National Championship at the Mara Baseball Stadium was a statement event for Freedom Farm. They just simply took everything home. Freedom Farm showed dominance in the Mama's Baseball Federation Championship. The minor division championship featured Junior Baseball League of Nassau and Freedom Farm. The final score being 3-1 for the goal, it goes to Freedom Farm. It's not by chance that Freedom Farm dominated Nationals this year. Chalk it up to hard work, says Ainsworth. They have a wonderful set of kids there, a very hard working set of boys who are very dedicated to the sport, who work day in, day out at Freedom Farm in our league that we play. And they have done extremely well throughout the season, that is why they have been selected to be a member of this team. Throughout the preparation for this team, they have really worked hard. We were know what we had in store as returning back to the Nationals. We, it is our intention to clean up and that's, that's exactly what we did this, this year. Well, your program is an obvious because you still got summer ball to go and play that as well. Yes, they have the Vero Beach tournament to go participate in, in the 10 new on the 10 division which is another good workout for them against those boys in the states and we're looking very much forward to that as, a, as it will help their the continuous development into the game of baseball freedom farm took the coach pitch major junior and high school titles home that puts the islands on notice get back to basic baseball and development 
And I got to make sure that I'm going to let uh, Kimberly know that she has to also walk. And also, uh, Agnes, you're going to have Cindy and Lawanda from ZNS down there to walk in there with you guys 6 o'clock Monday morning or they better not come to work on Tuesday. That's a look at just sports tonight. <laughs>